result is that all side forces on the glass are small and are mainly dominated by aerodynamic effects, which at these speeds are negligible. And that's why you don't need to model the glass. It naturally doesn't spill, no matter what the quad does. The lesson here is that some high-performance uh, tasks are easier than others, and that understanding the physics of the problem tells you which ones are easy and which ones are hard. In this instance, carrying a glass of water is easy, balancing a pole is hard. We've all heard stories of athletes performing feats while physically injured. Can a machine also perform with extreme physical damage? Conventional wisdom says that you need at least four fixed motor propeller pairs in order to fly, because there are four degrees of freedom to control. Roll, pitch, yaw, and acceleration. Hexacopters and octocopters with six and eight propellers can provide redundancy, but quadrocopters are much more popular because they have the minimum number of fixed motor propeller pairs, four. Or do they? If we analyze the mathematical model of this machine with only two working propellers, we discover that there's an unconventional way to fly it. 